From one resource to another one here, Utahns with no heat in their home, even though they planned ahead, requesting the necessary propane weeks ago. That's what's been happening to people all over the country, and they've reached out to Matt Gephardt for help. Mike Dini, good evening. This is not the first time we have reported on the frustrations of Amerigas customers to actually get the propane that they need delivered. But with temperatures continuing to drop, the situation for some has gone from frustrating to downright dangerous. I'm down to nothing. I don't dare cook. My fridge is a propane fridge. I, I don't know what to do. Rose Cox had been waiting for Amerigas to fill up her propane tank for two months. Probably. 10 times they've said, they'll be out tomorrow, they'll be out tomorrow, they'll be out tomorrow. Well, they're not out tomorrow. Rose says the broken promises left her dangerously close to running out of propane at her remote off-the-grid home in western Utah. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Because I don't know what to do when the propane runs out. I was boiling water to try to take a bath, you know. Across the country, it's been the same story. Cindy Simon from North Carolina reached out after she was without heat for a week. She's already paid, but the propane has not come. Furious. Absolutely furious. Resentful. The KSL investigators heard from a half dozen folks from Utah to Arkansas, all having the same issue with Amerigas delivering their propane. I had set up for automatic delivery. That after our own news report earlier this month with multiple Utah families having delivery issues. Everybody lamented a lack of communication and broken promises. And we found news reports done in Washington, Texas, and Reno. We reached back out to Amerigas. What gives? The email statement sent by their spokesperson echoed the same statement they sent before. Colder than normal temperatures causing delivery delays. They confirmed during the pandemic they moved to a centralized model and closed their offices to the local public. But when we asked if that new centralized model is contributing to the nationwide service delays and lack of communication with customers, they had no answer. I would like never to use Amerigas again. For now, it seems reaching out to a TV station may be your best bet to get these tanks filled. All of the folks reported that after they contacted the media, they finally received their propane. Propane delivery also got the attention of Utah's governor late last year, who issued an executive order allowing propane truckers to work longer hours to get the important job done.